I think everyone wants to know what the hiring of Jawan Howard means for you, for your emotions, for your feelings, and for your friends. You alluded to this when we did this interview when I was on the road, and frankly, the last 25 years, the relationship with the University of Michigan, both ways seems to be one that they tolerated us and the other way around. It wasn't a full throttle embracement from both sides, including myself. I didn't realize that until last night when I'm like, I need Michigan schedule. I'm going to be at all of the games. I'm going to be at all of the practice. I'm going to be invested. And so I want to thank all of the people that had something to do with helping this happen. The athletic director, the board of regents, and Jawan Howard. And for all of the young people out there, there's a lesson to be learned. This is about longevity. Because while Jawan Howard did all of the necessary sacrifices to put him in position for this opportunity to come true, he's been coaching since 2013. He's an alum of the school. He's a champion in the NBA. He has fostered amazing relationships. He's paid his dues. He's gotten NBA teams to interview him for jobs. So he's legitimate. They got the best candidate. But we move as one, like Voltron. And we all understand that one of us can say something and or do something to mess it up for all of us. We just saw that happen for 25 years. And so now for all of this to come full circle, I just got to make sure that people know there will be no splintering. There will no be no disrespect. There will no, it's all about following Jawan as the leader of the program and to give Michigan all the support they need to be champions. Now, uh, Adam Schefter is so darn good as a reporter that he basically scooped me live on my own <laughs> show. But one of the pieces of this that people will want to know, obviously, that well, I was going to say the two most famous members of the Fab Five are you and Chris Webber and C. Webb, and, and, and what, if anything, you think this might do to the relationship the two of you have, which has been complicated, to say the least. Oh, it squashes any drama or any beef, because we're not going to bring that to the Ann Arbor's campus with Jawan Howard as our head coach. The one thing that we both know is his success turning around the University of Michigan is first and foremost about him and about the players that he's going to influence. Then it's about us being there to support him, not being drama, not being splintered, not giving any indication of dysfunction. We're going to move as a family, and we're going to do what we can to build on what John Beeline has helped establish at Ann Arbor. Now, here's what I really want to ask you. I've, I've known you for 15 years. I remember having lengthy conversations on my old show, on Mike and Mike, mm -hmm. about the earlier part of your life. And you grew up with a lot of anger in your life, and you overcame that. And you are now, for anyone who knows Jalen, I always joke around, you're the mayor of planet Earth. You're one of the happiest people I know. But this was something inside of you, as, as I know you, that, that was not quite right. It was never quite right. The Fab Five is such a part of who you are, mm -hmm. and yet it was never quite right. How does this change that, and how does that make you feel? Because it was incomplete. And today, to be honest with you, it feels like the first day out of prison. It really does, because you didn't realize the weight and the shackles of the negative connotations of what people took from what we brought to the table at the University of Michigan, how heavily that weighed on all of us until it actually gets lifted. And there had been some thawing in the relationship. John Beeline did a terrific job bringing us back to campus. All of the fans and all the supporters have always been amazing. But when you go to Ann Arbor and you look up and so much blood, sweat, and tears that you put up, like the banners aren't up. I was a pretty good player. I was an All-American. It's like my number wasn't retired. You know, I'm not in the College Hall of Fame. And then those are the selfish parts of it. Then I'm like, wait a minute. Ray Jackson and Jimmy King, they deserve this more than anybody. See, Chris Webber and me, we get a chance to talk about sports on television. Jawan as well, making big time money in the NBA. Those guys didn't have that opportunity. So all of the times that I was talking about the University of Michigan and fighting for our legacy was for those two guys who don't have that voice, who don't have that outlet. Now they do. They're back welcome in Ann Arbor. They're back welcome as a part of the University of Michigan family. And again, it wasn't that the previous regime didn't make sure we were welcome. The first time I went back in 20 years, Tommy Ambaker was the coach. 20 years. I didn't go back. I did not go to a game at all. I was ride or die with my brother Chris Weber, and I held a grudge to the fact that they didn't acknowledge us. One of his assistant coaches, Mike Jackson, is a friend of mine. He was on the staff. He encouraged me to come back. Same with John Beeline, one of my good friends, Bakari Alexander, who I went to high school with, was on his coaching staff, encouraged me to come back. But to be honest, I only went to like one or two games. It was almost like, I'm here, 
but I'm just being tolerated. And that was a frustrating part for me because as somebody that works in the philanthropic space as well, I have a scholarship endowment there. Not only am I an alum, a former player, I'm from Detroit, I bleed the maize and blue. I grew up idolizing Glenn Rice, Terry Mills, Lloyd Vaught, Sean Higgins, Ramil Robinson, like that was my squad. And so for me to get a chance to play for that university and go to football games where uh, Desmond Howard was throwing up the Heisman Trophy and to see all of the great things that has happened, it now to me shows that a football school has committed to putting basketball on even footing again. Because University of Michigan is the, first, the, the only program right now that has a former football player running this football team and a former basketball player run this basketball program. And so to sort of wrap up this part of the conversation, and there's so much more we can do, how do you put into words this way, the way this makes you feel? You, say, you said it was like the first day getting out of prison, but what words would you use to describe your emotions when I know how badly you wanted this to happen, and, and, and it's been sort of mm -hmm. percolating over the last week. Well, how did you first hear that it had happened? Well, I have been kind of in conversations and doing what I need to do behind the scenes to try to help massage it happening. Fair well. enough. You know so how the politics in that Whenever, goes. Whenever you received confirmation, this is definitely happening, how would you describe your immediate emotions? You watched the Jeffersons? I remember guess. Remember George Jefferson at the end of the bed? He was just jumping up doing like this? <laughs> or like Isaiah in the finals? <laughs> I, was doing like, I was doing that last night. I had some hot sake. I had some red wine. You know, I went and woke up the wife, all of that. <laughs>